Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking another look at whether Castlevania Curse of Darkness is playable with BTSX2 within Retroarch. Now, it wasn't that long ago that I did a test of this, and I deemed that it wasn't playable because the texture would screw up. And also, before we actually get into this, I should probably mention that my Xbox is currently running on an insider preview build of the next update, I believe. It's codenamed Delta, and it seems it fixes everything that the last Xbox dashboard update, or OS update, broke. So, whenever you would get to a PT, uh, to a PlayStation 2 logo, games would normally crash. That doesn't seem to be the case with the Delta update. And also, because they no longer crash, we actually get access to the PCSX2 core that has access to game fixes, which seems to fix quite a few games. One of which being this, and also Klonoa 2, because obviously, uh, back when I did Klonoa 2 about four weeks ago, maybe longer, I'm not entirely sure, um, I basically deemed that the game was playable. Although I didn't realise that it definitely wasn't, because you can't get past a certain part in the game. Yeah. It's like you got to a certain cliff that you couldn't reach, because uh, two objects that were supposed to spawn in didn't. <laughs> so yeah, bit of an issue. No, I was just going through my, like, um my list of games that I have deemed not playable, and just seeing whether or not there is any difference. And with this there is, and with Klonoa 2 there is. Although I will admit, they are the only two games I've tested. Actually, I've tested a few others. Age of Empires 2, uh, Area 51, and Blood Rain 2. Neither of those have any change, so... It's the main reason. But now this plays just as good as it did before, except this time we don't have any of the texture screwiness. At least I don't think we do. I did do this not long ago, like 10 minutes ago. I went through the door and I noticed there was no issues. Watch there be issues now. But there we go. Because I know on the initial video, someone suggested that you could turn off clamping, and that also fixes the issue, but with this, you don't need to do any of that. Like, my settings are completely stuck, and it's perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure... what the difference is. Although I am... I have a... A feeling that maybe it was to do with the game fixes. So like any game that had a fix that could be applied would be the one or would be the games that could crash. I don't know that for a fact, that's just a pure assumption. Now I just want to go through a bunch of doors, because it's the doors that seem to be the man's greatest enemy. It was actually it wasn't even just that, it was whenever you panned the camera a certain direction, the textures would just flip out. It's crazy. But I definitely want to do more uh, videos like this, basically giving an update on the status of a game. So if I've previously deemed it as not playable, and then it is playable, even if it's playable with issues, or if it goes from being playable with issues to perfectly playable with minor issues, then I would like to, you know, give like a, not a progress report, but like an update, basically. Left analog stick and the jump button. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. It's how you dodge. Sort of. It is weird that there's no... Oh, there is a lock-on. Oh, R2. Well, who would have known? Cool. Yeah, I never knew that. <laughs> In fact, I may... Uh, I was going to say I'll go back. To, like, the water area. Just to kind of cover my tracks from where I went in the initial test. But I think, I think this kind of showcases that there is no issue. Like, everything is fine. Oh! Kind of crazy, though. Because it's not been that long since I actually did the test on this. No, I'm pretty sure it was, like, one or two weeks ago. Like, when I record these, I do record a lot of them at once, so that I don't have to, you know, record a test every other day. But it does mean that they... They can be outdated by the time I actually get to, uh, by the time they get uploaded. That hasn't happened as of yet, from what I, uh, from what I know, but it could happen. <laughs> the only downside with emulation is, you know, progress is updating all the time, so. You might test it one day and then a day later that a fix comes out and fixes all the issues that were present in the test. Whoa! Merman. 
Yeah, I think I ended the test on here, maybe. I think I went through a door. I remember something. Level up. Whoa, I got Rosario. Ooh. But yeah, it's, as you can see, everything is perfect. It plays at full speed. Um, no texture issues for once. Oh, that was right, yeah, if something fits into the door. Oh, I needed to go up then, after all. Oh well. Yeah, it will be nice to actually uh, clean up my my list of games that I've deemed not playable, because <laughs> there's a lot. Like, granted, I have tested, I think at this point, like 160 or so games, maybe more. In terms of videos, I've tested 150, but I've definitely tested more than what I have recorded. Not by much, but I have tested more. Where the hell is the exit? Not too, not too sure. And I mean, of those ones I've tested, I think about 40 or so are not playable. Oh, is this back at that bloody door? Or did I go the correct? No, I didn't. Damn it! Getting turned around. So yeah, I think I think it's about 40. It might actually be closer to 50. It's a lot. <laughs> Quite a few. I mean, I never went into this expecting performance to be completely perfect on everything. The fact that so many games perform as well as they do is honestly really impressive. But yeah, the fact that we're already seeing kind of like, not necessarily updates, but we are seeing progress in terms of games having issues and then no longer having issues. There we go. I would have to say that Castlevania Curse of Darkness is now currently playable. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.